Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be week number 7, I believe, of the APA Academy and we are up against Silver Smasher and his Galactic uh, Garchomps and I was a little bit confused because uh, I had known him before as the Floridian Typhlosions, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, the new team was a little bit weird for me. It took a little bit of getting used to, but we are here and we're just going to get right into the matchup. Okay, so right off the bat, we see the Mega Blaziken, the Giratina, the Azumarill, Kangaskhan, Ferrothorn and uh, Reuniclus. So right off the bat, no Dawn Fan is wild. No Jolteon. No Swellow is pretty wild. No uh, Spiritomb or Alakazam. Those are all pretty wild. But uh, also, just no Primarina. No Primarina was absolutely bananas to me. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do with this matchup, really. Uh, part of me just wants to lead off. Mm, I think, honestly, the best lead might just be... My Solgaleo here. I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna try to lead off with a Solgaleo. We're gonna see whatever we can do. Okay, sorry about that. My uh, capture card is uh, hanging up quite a bit on me, but uh, I did want to lead off with my Solgaleo. I just thought that would be kind of a best catch all lead. I did kind of expect him to want to lead off with uh, this Ferrothorn here. Um, obviously, I don't have the best options for setting up. Well, I don't have any options for setting off hazards, but I don't obviously have the best uh, responses for removing them either. But, uh, okay, so I did intend to make this flamethrower, but uh, I do have Flare Blitz on this thing. And I think the best play would just be to go for it right now. Um, it does have the Aqua Barrier. I did kind of half expect that, but uh, e either way, I had to break the Aqua Barrier at some point in this matchup, so I don't think it's the biggest deal in the world. We do we do just about half. Um, we would, we'll take Iron Barbs. Uh, eat up the Aquaberry as he just gets up rocks. Now, this is going to be a really interesting turn because he might not want to stay in here. I don't quite know, but I think he can see. I mean, obviously, he can tell a decent amount from uh, that Flare Blitz damage. Okay, sorry about that. Um, his best hard switch in would obviously be the Azumar, probably. I'm going to take a screenshot of uh, the bottom screen because uh, I did forget that earlier, but. Um, yeah, he does have a decent amount of just solid switches into a straight-up Flare Blitz, which does make me want to switch it up here, but I don't know what I would want to do otherwise. So, none of my other moves are really doing any damage in this situation. So, part of me just wants to click Morning Sun, maybe double out. But what would I go out into? I'm not even too, too sure. I could just go for a Zen Head, but potentially... I'm going to click Flare Blitz. I'm going to at least force him to make the play. Does withdraw. Does withdraw. Uh, I'm not too sure what this is going to be. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, I guess... I don't know. I don't know what this would really have for me. But it is decently bulky. We did about 30% to it. So, let me see just a regular-ass Kangaskhan. Alright, this is going to be a complete struggle to edit, but uh, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. So, this is for sure at least max HP. At least. Which, honestly, just makes me want to click Morning Sun here. Uh, I should actually outspeed this thing in Morning Sun first, unless this thing is decently fast. So, I don't know. Maybe that's reason enough to just go for the Zen Headbutt. The Zen Headbutt should actually be doing just as much as Flare Blitch is doing. I'm going to click Zen Headbutt because... Um, it should do around the same damage, and whatever hit he tries to hit me with, I do get the flinch. Okay. It's not exactly what I wanted, but this thing could honestly just be super defensive. And I don't mind if I'm able to get rid of this thing. Honestly. Yeah, so it's going to be some sort of a Wish Protect Kangaskhan from, by the looks of it. It's going to be some sort of a Wish Protect Kangaskhan by the looks of it. Which, I guess I just, I just have to decide how much I mind right now. Um, it's going to be... Kind of just a sideways game trying to deal with this now. But... Um... What this will... That's a crit, okay. 
goes for the wish. What the, so now he's forced to protect, which will allow me to either switch something in or click Morning Sun. My instinct is to say that um, switching something in would be more beneficial. I could go into Togekiss here and get off a Defog. I could get off a Defog. I think I might just do that. I think I might just do that. And, uh, yeah, honestly, I don't know. I do not feel the best about having to kind of bring just no, no rocker. And even though this has defog, um, just not the best hazard options in general, or hazard and hazard removal options in general. But, um, I really thought the Meloetta... First of all, the Meloetta was probably the best answer that I had on my team against Avery Uniclus. I could probably keep it in check the best out of anything. But just above that, I think that... I think that... It was just one of the best options. Even though I really did want to bring the Mamoswine, Mamoswine had an okay matchup, just not a great one. So I don't know. I don't know how how I really should have managed that decision, but it was kind of a game time decision. Maybe just looking at the team more, I would have been better off with a with a Bama Swine here with rocks in general. It's tough to say now, but if the Reuniclus kind of goes crazy, then I don't know. It could end up being the case that I made the right call here. But regardless, this Kangaskhan is going to be difficult to deal with. This Kangaskhan is going to be really difficult to deal with. And I kind of have to just figure out how I want to deal with this thing. Um... Yeah, I don't know how I want to really handle this. I don't know how I really want to handle this. Does withdraw. Uh, I'm not sure what that is coming in, but it's going to be the Giratina. So I have not yet revealed Crunch. I haven't yet revealed Crunch. That's a crit, okay. Um. Okay. Now, I believe this is Origin Form, if I'm not mistaken. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna just do my best with this, but let me see. Um. Giratina. I did that much on a... On a crit. I really do just want to go for Crunch here. And I think I might. I don't think this could really could do anything to one-shot me. I'm, I'll see how much a Crunch does. Goes for a Thunder Wave. Um, I guess I don't mind. I mean, I mind if I get paralyzed, but I don't think it really does much. Uh, okay. I don't think it really does much in terms of speed tearing. It would be really unfortunate if my Akaberry pops on the Blaziken and I'm not able to hit it back with a Zen Headbutt. I mean, that's probably a game losing uh, turn for me just in the grander you know scheme of things if that happens. But, but overall... Does withdraw, okay. Uh, brings this thing out. So, I guess the fact that I haven't reeled Crunch yet, uh, did kind of work to my advantage a little bit. Now, I really think that this thing is worth preserving quite a bit, so I kind of want to just go into, uh, my Meloetta. But the fact that I did that much... Reuniclus. Reuniclus. So that's at least max HP. Could we max defense? That is for sure max defense. That is for sure max defense. And that's impish as well, right? Or not imp you, you guys know what I mean. Yeah, that's that's almost definitely impish. And that's if that's true, then that's pretty much the lowest roll I could have possibly gotten. Um, 
Yeah, Metal Butter here just does decent damage. So I'll just bring it in aggressively. I really want to... I think it's worth preserving Sogaleo as much as possible here. Does pull a double. Okay. Okay. Okay, I don't even remember what this thing is. Okay, it's, it's this thing. That's fine. But this thing is really physically defensive. Uh, you could Toxic me, which, I mean... I don't think I mind too much, question mark. I'm not too, too sure how much I mind. But I really honestly kind of want to gauge the psychic damage. Now, of course, this is the week where I don't have a ton of subtoxics on my team. Uh, I've been... It, it's been kind of a kind of an internal meme that I've been running subtoxic on pretty much everything uh, as of late. But, of course, this is the week where I don't have any kind of sub or... Uh, counterplay to a hard toxic team, but here we are uh, It's kind of how my season's been going just in general with not being able to call these types of things correctly uh, I honestly just kind of want to click u-turn here Because on he might switch and even if he doesn't switch It could be So okay my My Heracross would have to eat up a... My Heracross would have to eat up a Seismic Toss, which I don't think I mind too much. Right? Does that matter a whole heck of a lot? He could aggressively switch into Giratina, but I don't think that matters. Um... That might be... That might be the play worth making here. That might be a play worth making here. I could also aggressively go into Sogaleo. Oh, now, yeah, no, and everything's making a whole bunch more sense. He went for the paralysis so that I could no longer, uh, flinch him with, with my Zen headbutts. Uh, yeah, I guess I'd click U-turn. Goes for the wish. So he's faster, so he's pretty much max speed, no. Because Kangaskhan is not that fast, right? I know I'm, like, really specially defensive. But... This thing has a decent amount- has a very decent amount of speed. It must. Oh, no, not necessarily. Okay, so I'm... Yeah, my, my Meloetta only uh, has, has, like, minimal speed on it. It has, like, 20 points of speed on it. Um, honestly, this is a decent opportunity for my hair cross to kind of get something going here. There's the flame orb. He could protect just to get a turn of flame orb, but he might try to do something else here. It's difficult to say what he's going to do, though. I feel like clicking knockoff is going to be the best play no matter what happens. I, I mean, I already clicked it. Does withdraw. It's going to try to catch a knockoff with... I believe that's the Giratina. Yeah, okay. So... You did get that somewhat correct, but uh, it's not going to end up doing a hell all look of a lot for me. Um... But it, I think he's, I, yeah, I think he has to hold the Greerus Orb. Is it the Greerus? Whatever, it's not the point. Whatever that orb is, yeah, because the Lustrous Orb is Palkia, yeah. So, I think, it does go for the Hex. I mean, I think that's fine. I don't... Okay. Uh, I, I kind of stretched the definition of fine, but... Getting that damage off was more important than most other things that could have happened in the situation. Now, he could expect me to knock off again. He could try to do something super duper crazy. It honestly makes me want to click something dumb like Pin Missile or something just to just to try to catch him on something here. But no. Um, yeah, I kind of just want to... Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Yeah, yeah, he knew that he knew that I was gonna do that, but 
it doesn't matter. This thing is especially defensive, more or less, as a Meloetta can be. And these are kind of the plays that I have to make to keep myself in this, and even just keeping my hair cross up for one final hit is going to be a decently sized for me. Now, I really want to click... I really want to click Psychic here, but I need to know that that would do... Oh, I also know that this is pretty much special, physically defensive, right? I think that's what I've decided already. Oh, wow. Neither neither of my moves do enough to this Giratina. I'm going to click Psychic. I'm going to click Psychic. Does withdraw. I don't think I know what this is. It's the Ferrothorn. Okay, okay. Fair enough. He's gonna get rocks back up, although... Special Defense does fall. Does that mean anything for me? Special Defense falls. Special Defense falls. Hmm. I'm gonna click Psychic again. I don't think I'm gonna KO here, but... I think just pressuring this thing in general... Yeah, even if just giving this thing up for rocks, I think... is going to be... I was going to say it's going to be okay, but it's just something that I kind of have to do in this situation. Um, and honestly, I think I'm free to kind of switch up moves here. I think, I can, I, I think I'm free to just kind of click Shadow Ball here. Uh, especially at minus one, I should be just fine clicking Shadow Ball. But is that even worth it? Is it... You could go into Reuniclus? I mean, that would be... That would be just kind of a bonkers play. I have not revealed Shadow Ball yet, but... That that feels like one of these things that he, he would have to know that I would have to have here, right? I'm just gonna click Psychic again, and I think I think it's at the range where even if he does go into Reuniclus, uh, it's pretty close to being KO range for an, another Shadow Ball here. So, yeah, I think, yeah, I mean, I can, I don't know what that was if that was kind of like a pseudo sack or something like that, but, um, it's gonna free me up to click Shadow Ball here, and I don't think I mind. Whatever he really I think I take this. It'd be, it'd be bad if I don't take this, but I think I do. Yeah, we do. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be a double down, right? It's going to be a double down. And I have to figure out what I'm going to do here. Uh, He has a solid catch-all catch -all Pokemon in Ferrothorn. And what did I lead off with? I led off with... I led off with Sogaleo. Sogaleo is solid against his team, although the Kangaskhan's a problem. I can potentially go into Palkia here. Palkia, I really aggressively need Palkia for the Blaziken, although an emergency answer to the Blaziken would be Akaberry Sogaleo here, so it's it might not be the worst thing in the world if palkia gets hurt even though i obviously don't want that to happen uh zygarde's a potential zygarde's a possibility um i could sack heracross now for the information so that i get initiative here but i kind of think it's more worth it to be aggressive here i kind of think it's more worth it to be aggressive here What I might... I really don't know what I want to do here. Zygarde feels good, except for the... I mean, he could just go into Azumarill here. I can try to be aggressive with Togekiss. And I might have to. Togekiss can defog, which would... 
I don't, I don't even think that's worth it at this point. Yeah. I think Togekiss does make sense here. Uh, okay, goes into Blaze again. He doesn't know that I'm Scarfed, although Scarfed is one of my favorite Togekiss sets, so if he's watched anything that I've ever done, um, he would know that I do love Scarf. But regardless, I don't think it's worth it to just click Defog here. I think, I think, yeah, it's more worth it just to click Air Slash and see whatever happens. He could just click Protect, which would be fine. Um, he could just assume that I'm in range of Flare Blitz here and click Flare Blitz, but, um, yeah, just, just click Protect, that's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but, you know, what else am I going to do, right? I did, yeah, it did kind of cross my mind that clicking Defog would be kind of worth it in this situation, but... How much is that really going to do for me? Especially when I have to give up a Mon right now anyway. And it might honestly just be the Togekiss. Because it would go down to Aqua Jet anyway at this point. Although it, it does feel really necessary for the Kangaskhan here. It does feel really necessary for the Kangaskhan here. It does feel really necessary for the Kangaskhan here. Um, if I, if I, I don't know, it might be just as worth it just to prevent Swords Dance. I'm going to click it. We're, we're, yeah, I'm going to go down to Flare Blitz. I, ultimately, I feel like that's going to be fine. So here's the thing, right? Zygarde here... Actually, Zygarde here is reasonably useless for the remainder of this match, right? So... Except for this Blaziken, right? And... If, he, if he's the standard Protect, Swords Dance, Flare Blitz, Low Kick set then he doesn't beat Zygarde. He has to be... He has to have high jump kick in order to beat my Zygarde. Uh, I don't have speed anymore. I, uh, I, I, I speed tie with a, with a plus one. With a plus one blaze again, but um, he would have to be... He could be HP Ice for all I know. Right? But... Does protect. I think if he switches out, I guess he's just trying to get a feel for what I was trying to do. Maybe he thought I was going to Extreme Speed there, but Extreme Speed never does. I mean, Extreme Speed, I think, just, like, barely doesn't have even if I'm, like, banded, I think. He could think that I have HP, or Yachi Berry for a potential Hidden Power Ice, because actually, uh, I think, like, Adamant Hidden Power Ice does does enough, like, after rocks to, to Zygarde. Something bananas like that, right? <laughs> well, there it is. And, yeah. Okay. I felt like that was a risk that I had to take. So, he does have the HPI specifically for the Zygarde, which is interesting to know, right? Which means that the set has to be Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz, Low Kick. HP Ice Protect. Flare Blitz, Low Kick, HP Ice Protect. That makes sense to me. Which means that... Which means that my Palkia would have a decent time against it. But it also means, it also means, right, that I would really have to make a call here in order to win this matchup. Because um, I, if I bring in the Palkia now, he has to know that I would pretty much take whatever hit you would want to go for, right? And he has the easy Azumarill switch in, which means that I would have to click Thunderbolt now in order to potentially two-hit the Azumarill. Or at least the, uh, force it to go for an Aqua Jet, uh, knowing that I outspeed it, right? Um, otherwise, I just don't win. I have to make that prediction, right? Um, yeah, I think I have to make that prediction. And even then, even then, I have a little bit of trouble against the Reuniclus, but that's just something that I have to, you know, deal with, I guess. 
It's just something that I have to deal with. Um, I have to click Thunderbolt. I have to click Thunderbolt. Because Palkia just straight up doesn't beat Azumar otherwise. Um, yeah, if we just assume that this thing is like max HP, then Thunderbolt, even then, kind of just barely do hits. But we're going for it. Goes for low kick. Okay. So didn't feel like it was necessary to make any type of prediction there. And uh, that's a crit, but that that honestly probably just loses me the match. Um, so Sogaleo maybe does it. I'm not saying Sogaleo like can't do it, but it's really difficult for Sogaleo to do this right now. Is there any reason to preserve Palkia? Is there any real reason to preserve Palkia? I mean, is there any real reason not to preserve Palkia? I literally could have clicked Surf and KO'd this thing. I guess he was confident enough that Azumarill can just come in and deal with me, but... I don't know, man. I don't know. Because then he would have to knock off against Sogaleo, right? And then... At that point... And then at that point, I Morning Sun on the knockoff, and then knockoff is doing less, and then I wear the, it down potentially, unless it's just straight up Belly Drum, in which case, or Z Belly Drum, or if anything. And then uh, I kind of just lose from there. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I could have just thrown the match away, I don't know. I'm going to talk to him after this matchup, but... What's even worth doing here? My my gut says to, that Palkia is worth keeping around. But regardless... My hair cross is no longer a viable sack, no matter what happens. Because it doesn't help out my Sogaleo at all. Yeah, so I might as well just bring in the Sogaleo now. And hope to not get paralyzed. Hope to not get paralyzed. And... Potentially make this not a 5-0. But... I don't know, he- my instinct says that he's still gonna struggle to take out my- my Sogaleo, but yeah, I don't know, just pretty much every read that I try to make in this matchup went wrong for me. Pretty much every read that I try to go for went wrong for me here. Uh, I'm just gonna click Zen Headbutt, even though it has a chance to miss, but at this point, like, if I miss, then what does that even mean for me here? There's the Akaberry. Uh, not gonna get 5 would Um, but... But, it's not gonna- Oh, actually, I, I probably could've- I could've clicked Morning Sun. I'm such an idiot. Okay. I had so much HP, and I could've just clicked Morning Sun. My only saving grace might be- Might just be... That... That... Azumarill Knockoff can no longer KO. But, it probably can. I click Morning Sun. I try to make something happen, but... Liquidation. Yep, there we are. There we are. Man, these aren't even that strong liquidations, man. Ugh. I mean, I don't know what his full moveset is. I don't know really anything about his moveset, but it really feels that I could have at least taken one of them on with me if I Morning Sun stalled enough. It feels like I really could have taken an another one with me at the very least. Um, I'd really appreciate being able to crit Thunderbolt here, but you know, what are we gonna do? Mm. Looks like crit Thunderbolt might have just barely done it here, but. Yeah, let me think this through, right? Let me think this through. Pokia clicks Surf. I KO the Mega Blaze again. 
And then between Palkia and Solgaleo, I mean, like, obviously, Palkia has to be able to handle the Kangaskhan, and Solgaleo has to take on pretty much, like, everything else, but... Yeah, I... I... I 100% made the wrong play. I... I... I overread the situation, but... Uh, it really just felt like the right play to make in the moment? I don't know. Because Fair Thorn is pretty much out. Um... Reuniclus was decently weak. Uh... Honestly, like... A defense drop or two would have been able to deal with it. Um... The... The... Giratina would have been a decent problem... But it looks like I, I could have been able to deal with the, with the Azumarill. But it's just gonna be how it is. Uh, it's gonna be another loss. It's gonna be fine. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with uh, more weeks of the AP Academy as well as uh, some other stuff that I have uh, that I'm working on for a little bit. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. It'll be once again out.